not gonna lie, I'm not wearing any pants right now. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. <laughs> really janky camera set up right now um it's on my phone because uh my actual camera is dead i don't mean dead dead i just mean like i never charge my battery and so now i am paying the price um with this terrible quality but today i'm doing a video that i am been wanting to do for the whole month <laughs> i just have neglected to do it sorry i'm making room because my room is a mess and um i'm not going to show you because i don't need that negativity in my life so what i'm doing is i am going to be doing a dark angel makeup tutorial so we start off like this and then we go to to this look how nice okay bye what you're going to need pretty much any makeup you have lying around I'm just doing a very simple, I'm not doing any kind of special effects. I can do special effects makeup, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've done it, and I don't know how good my quality, my uh, skills are lately. Um, one of the accessories I got today that is going to help transform this is I have this beautiful black crown. I have black oil slick angel wings, so I'm getting... Uh, turning into a dark angel. So it'll be really pretty, I'm hoping. Um, I'm going up as I go because um, I'm a person that while I'm working, I get my inspiration. I have an idea of what I want to do, but um, I'll, I'm just going to go do what I do. So we're going to start off with our base today. Um, what I'm going to be using for um, primer is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have been using this one for a while and I really like it. I always start off with moisturized skin whenever I did my makeup just because I feel like it helps because I can have really dry skin and the area I live in kind of can affect my skin. So I'm starting off with moisturized skin and this just helps make my base a little bit more sticky, which is good especially when you're doing makeup, especially if this is going to be a Halloween look. I don't think anyone's going to do this look besides me, but if you do it, um, this is something that will help your makeup stick a little bit better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a... My room is a mess, and um, you probably don't believe me, because I am a very neat and tidy person in the rest of my everyday life, but my room is a fucking mess. So I'm going to take um, just a regular beauty sponge, I uh, don't want to get up to wet it, and I don't have any water around, so I'm just going to take um, my Urban Decay, what is this, it's been a, it's literally been around forever and I couldn't think of the name for it, it's All Nighter Setting Spray, if you haven't heard of it, it's been around forever, it's a really good one, I've, all, I've never, well, I had samples, but I never actually went out and bought it on my own until like, I've had this one for uh, right before quarantine happened, so since like February or so. Um, haven't used it a ton because I, I haven't done my makeup throughout quarantine because there's no point and I didn't do it. I don't want to, so leave me alone. So I'm gonna start with my foundation. Foundation, um, I'm in between shades right now. I use two foundations right now. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I find the shade clearly is too dark for me. I use this because, um, I use the Dewy and Smooth because I try not to use matte foundations just because I have really dry skin. The past year I've had really dry skin. Um, yes, I've been trying to drink a lot more water. Kind of dry skin and, um, so this keeps it kind of, um, dewy, which really helps the texture in my skin. But I also have one that is light, which is extremely full coverage. It's Juvia's Place. This is, what shade is it? Malta 640. Um, so I have this, and then I mix this one. This one is, the Fit Me is 120 Classic Ivory. So uh, this one's too light, this one's too dark. Mix them. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And it gives it actually a really nice kind of glowy finish, which I kind of really dig. So I'm just going to do that right now. And I mix those. Oh, that was way too much. 
I'm being very wasteful today. So I just mix them on like a random blush compact thingy. Whoa, that was way too much. Um, so <laughs> the color match is perfect, right? So yeah, this color match isn't great, but I make it work because I have a hard time figuring out my perfect shade in everything I use uh, because my skin literally changes colors so frequently. Um, I used to be like pretty dark when I was younger and now my skin has just progressively gotten more pale the older I've gotten. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. Cover up my face. Oh my god, I look terrifying. I apologize to everyone watching. But I find this gives me like a really nice finish and it doesn't leave me looking cakey whenever I put on um, mixing. And it's weird because you're mixing a matte and you're mixing um, a dewy finish. So you would like, they, they kind of counteract each other, but not in this case for me. They kind of, um, it gives me like full coverage, which sometimes I do need, but then it also gives me that kind of hydrating glow. So it's kind of like the perfect mixture for my skin. It doesn't make, leave me looking cakey whenever I put setting powder on either. It just kind of gives me, oh my god, I have, this lighting? I swear when it comes together, it won't look as insane as I do now. I may act as insane as I do now, but I won't look at it. I'm gonna take that off my lips um, when I do my lips because I'm doing a black lip, I believe. I'll decide as I go because I am a very indecisive person and especially when it comes to creative projects. And for me, this is a project because it takes time and effort. I, mean, I could be doing my midterms right now, but I'm not. I will do them right now <laughs> because I have my priorities straight. You may be wondering why my lighting looks like this. It's because I decided to get um, a live stream kit that came with a mini ring light and I don't know if I'm regretting that right now because this lighting is harsh. So I'm gonna take, um, what am I doing? Elf the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I tried the regular one, the matte one, and um, I used that for a long time. I did a video before which I took down but I did um, use a lot of the um did I just completely miss this under my nose yep I did uh so I just uh used that um I just wanted to try when I wanted to start using hydrating um more hydrating products on my face for like concealer and foundation just more more natural I feel like it gives me a more natural look it doesn't make me look cakey plus I have very textured skin um, and I got the idea of using more hydrating stuff from watching Raw Beauty Christy. She does, she uses like a lot of dewy, a lot of, um, hydrating like foundations and stuff like that. And she talks about, so I wanted to try that to see if it would help the texture of my skin. Cause she talks about that in her videos and it did. So, um, thanks for the tip. So I'm just doing this, just blending it out. This just gives me some brightness in some of the areas, which you can't really tell because this light is blinding. Um, miss my nose. Great. So next I'm just gonna take um, some setting powder, just standard Laura Mercier, just the translucent one. Um, I feel like most people know about this, if you've heard about this. I was a little late to the party getting this. I've only had mine for a while. Whoa. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a, uh, just a random BH. I got the, they had um, a crystal zodiac set, I believe it's called. And it just has all like um, inspired by different crystals and like rose quartz, amethyst, smoky quartz, jade, that type of thing. So I'm just gonna take it and just put it all over. I'm going to focus mainly on the areas that crease just to help out make it look a little bit better. Mostly I'm just doing a light setting because I don't want it to look cakey. And with this combination that I do, for some reason I feel like the Juvia's Place mixes well with it and I don't have any transfer, which I know is weird because I've worn this makeup while wearing a mask and for me I transfer like my makeup transfers so easily and it's always been a problem for me like I'll touch my face my makeup will come off this combo 
for some weird reason I haven't had like barely any transfer which for me has always been huge and is one thing I hated about wearing makeup and this combo really has been working for me and I love it I'm trying to decide what I want to do um sorry my boob is just up. so because I'm doing a dark makeup look I think I might try to do as light of a highlighter as possible so because if I'm doing black and stuff for a lot primarily my makeup look I think I want to do as like cool of a tone and as neutral of a color as possible so I might try to do like um a white or like a bluish white to try to tie it in so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a contour nothing major uh, I put a little bit of sparkly bronzer that I so on camera it looks horrendous in real life you can't even see it right now but I'm just gonna try to fix it So it just gives me a little bit of definition. I'm just doing like a little bit here because I have really puffy cheeks and grossness. And um, just flooping up my hairline because I am going to be wearing a wig. I'm going to take some blush. Um, so I know normally if you're doing like a dark angel, you wouldn't really want a lot of blush. But I'm just doing like because for my face i need i have such rosy cheeks that i kind of and like rosiness that i kind of i don't know i just do it because it just i don't know why i just i feel like it makes me look oh fuck a duck i just put it in my foundation that's on top mm. i feel like it just ties it in a little bit better ah uh, something in my eye i feel like i've i've made a lot of makeup videos but um some of them i haven't posted a lot of them but um every time i do one i always get something in my eye it's a trend fucking trend so now i'm gonna take i'm um, haven't used this color yet um the anastasia snowflake loose highlighter i've used the um gold one out of the bundle i don't know the name of it and i don't want to look right now but, okay yeah that one's very sparkly i apologize i am not on crack i swear to god so one of my staple highlighting brushes i always recommend um when people do ask me what highlighting brush i use i use like um one like this so it's from spectrum it's the spectrum b08 one um i really like that one it works really well for like um highlighting and stuff and i've just used it for years and i really enjoy it i don't i'm not a big fan of um fan brushes like certain times i get it which it would probably work better with a loose highlighter and stuff or like a more pigmented highlighter maybe but or a looser form one that's not pressed as firmly just mixing them a little bit and then i'm just going to so it just gives me like a nice highlight i would use one of my um What's it called? Liquid highlighters I have because I do have one in a sort of um, icy white color, but I just, I don't, I've never used a liquid with this uh, foundation combo before and I don't really want to try it just for the first time right now and embarrass myself even more than I already have today. So far this looks really good and it's giving me that icy kind of white that I was going for. To contradict the kind of um, darkness that I'm going to be doing. Mm. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't normally wear just like straight, um, like whitey, icy highlighters. I like more gold and like rose. Rose gold is my preferred, but gold um, goes really well with my skin tone too. I don't know how you describe my skin tone. 
it doesn't look like it with this light but I can get very tan at times and I don't know I'm Greek and Italian and that comes out yeah all right now that we've addressed that let's uh ooh. Ooh, I like it filling in my eyebrows very slightly I don't need to overdo them um because this is going to be a more dramatic eye and lately I've been going for more natural looking brows or trying to I haven't been doing my makeup a ton but when I do it I just don't care my let my brows do their thing they've always been like this and they will always be like this they have done their own thing for years I used to get them waxed <laughs> now I don't get them waxed because um whenever you get them waxed I feel like I've whenever I've gotten them waxed they uh, I might show you my permit picture if I do this stays between us and it's not going anywhere uh, because my picture is terrifying because my eyebrows are literally like pencils. They look like they were pencils. Oh my god, did I actually just miss my fucking eyebrow? Nice, Nicole. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, they literally just look like they were penciled on. They look so bad. So I just let them do their thing, you know? They've been good to me. I've been made fun of for years about my eyebrows being crazy, but now it's a trend, so fuck you. I've been told, because I used to have like really bushy eyebrows and stuff, kind of like this, but now it's a trend. Now I just pluck the strays and let them do their thing. Like I said, it is a trend and I, um, an excuse to do the least amount to my face. I'm gonna fall. I didn't really think about that's how you know how much shit I have on my floor. Just like, you know, just a smidge of Just a smidge of dairy. Is that better or worse? And now I look like I have a five o'clock shadow. Great. I'm not getting into specifics about the palettes I'm using just because I'm flopping around so freaking much. And um, I'm trying to use up makeup. And a lot of the makeup I have now, I do not support the people who have made them. So I'm not going to be talking about what I'm using because I'm just trying to use them and get rid of them because they cost money and I spent I spent my hard-earned money on them and I don't support them as people um certain ones that I'm using so I'm trying to use them and not talk about what I'm using because I don't think yeah I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't support them anymore, whoever, um, the makeup I'm using, which is actually a shame because I really enjoy this makeup brand, but I will no longer be buying from them because the person who owns it slash runs it is, mm, I'm not about that. So I'm not about, um, them anymore and I do not support them. So I'm not going to be talking about the, um, brand in particular i'm just going to be trying to use the colors that i have i've spent way too much money of my hard-earned money to just throw it away so i want to use them and then once they're done i'm never thinking of them again is that too much tea for you <laughs> really light color i'm just gonna be putting that on my lid Just a really light gray brown, just to kind of give my eyes some definition. I apologize if you hear my dog biting his freaking, I don't know what he's biting. So I don't know if you can see what I just did. What color did I just use? I have to read this one. So I'm going to be taking a little bit darker gray and same thing this is just how I do like a basic smoky eye I'm gonna I kind of want to keep a v-shape just a little bit so I'm just gonna make it go up a little bit to have a v and I'm also going to try to not go as high up as I did for 
my other one. So if you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't explain things very well. first color I did and just kind of blend them together that's the one tip I have like my eye looks insane I'm gonna blame it on the lighting but um one tip I have is that whenever you're doing a smoky eye blend as you go it makes it so much easier than trying to at the end just blend it all this one thing um, I want to have like a little bit of a deepened color down here. So let it go. That perfect. That eye looks what I intended. That's why I was just doing this on blender. Go back in with this brush. So I'm aware this looks insane right now. It will get better, I'm hoping. So next I'm gonna take a little bit darker of a gray. This one's more kind of like a warm tone gray. I know it's kind of weird to think of like gray as a warm tone, but it has some brown hints to it. It's just a little bit darker and I'm tapping off the excess. And then I'm just gonna start in the corner. Kind of swipe little slow movements. That's the best tip I have whenever you try to do like a little bit of a smoky eye. Is do very slow bits. You don't want to just go sweeping because it, it gets really messy. Like you see what I'm deepening. And I'm kind of blending out. So take little bits, don't take a ton of the color, that's my tip. Don't take a ton of the color, just take a little bit on your brush, dab off the excess, it helps a lot. Do little, I just missed my eye completely. Do little small movements and keep going back because if you put too much on, it's really hard to take away. Start with a little, you can always add more. That's my tip from doing makeup for 10 years, pretty much. Yeah, 10 years. Wow. I think my brother's making breakfast or something, but I apologize for all the fucking noise. I don't know if he thinks he's like a chef or something. He's just... I don't know the fucking know. Why are my dogs munching on their bed? So I think you can kind of see what I was going for a little bit. And I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit to make it more hazy. That's what I was going for. <laughs> like it. So I kind of want the shape of it to be like this. These eyes look vastly different, but I swear to God, they're not in real life. And then I'm just gonna work on blending it out a little bit. So, cause I want it to look kind of messy and grungy. Can you come take Bubba? No. Take a black and just deepen this area. The outer corner. I couldn't think of the word. And again, I'm just gonna sweep a little bit. This side is a little too bold, so I might have to haze it down a bit. So I might take um, that nude color from before and just kind of add it on. Try to get as much rid of it as possible. And kind of see what things get. 
this is what I do. The easy way to do this without making it look so insane is that you could easily just use some of this tape. I have the tape, so not all, I just didn't use it. Um, is, I have an e.l.f. eyeshadow tape. Alright, so now I'm just going to take some of the leftover makeup and just go on the eye. The white, the sparkly white I took before and I put on my lid, I went to take it and put it over my eyebrows. And just kind of give me some definition. Like I said, this doesn't have to look like perfect or anything. I mean, it's like a costume makeup. You could wear it if you wanted to for everyday makeup. I would. This is something I do. Uh, those are more... These are good. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. The black. What? I decide what I want to do first. I think I'm gonna do eyeliner first, just to tie in the look together and do my eyes. Actually, no. Let's do eyeliner and then I will do my lips. <laughs> So I just did a light eyeliner, I don't, this is how I normally do my eyeliner, just a little cat eye black eyeliner and just get in my waterline. And you can definitely take this and make it a lot more costumey than I am. I feel like, so like my eyes pop with the dark color and that's just something that the dark color always does for me. Oh, uh, because I have brown eyes. So now I'm going to let it sit just for a minute my lipstick and before I put the lip gloss on that way it doesn't just smear together and I'm going to put on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. So I am back and I'm wearing my dress. It is just like an endless dress that I, <laughs> it's an, like an infinity dress whatever you want to call it that has like tons of different ways of wearing it. So now I'm going to choose my wig and I need your guys' help. This is wig option number one. I do have to do some work on it. So please be gentle and nice and kind. I've had this one for a long time. Um, but this one I've never really worn a ton, but I've had her for a long time. She's uh, She's been here a while, but this is one that she definitely, I'm gonna trim her down. She's really long and really tangled and needs some, well, treatment. I think I need dark aerial vibes be wrong but this is wig number one so i'll be back now this is my second one it's um i have like six of them but this these are the top two i have to decide between i do like this one i've it used to be just as long as the other one it was um like down to here about like really long but i cut it and made it more natural looking because i thought for a long time i was just gonna wear wigs you know instead of my hair 
but I have to style this one. Like I said, these I've had these for a really long time, so they've been in um, bags for a while. I haven't touched them at all since I've moved. So this is the other one. I feel like this one, I don't know, I feel like this one just is a lot more manageable. It's a lot more natural looking. I feel like this one just goes better, but I don't know. I need help deciding. I feel like I just keep looking at myself in this one. Like, I think the purple color I like, and I like the length, but this one I just feel like is a lot easier. I don't know, but these are the two looks. I, um, I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. But yeah, this look, you can pretty much do makeup, whatever. This is more of just like a net, like, this is more just a dark makeup look. Pretty much get ready with me to try and look Halloweenish. Halloween is all time of year for me though, so it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, you can wear this if you're doing a dark angel. You can literally wear whatever jewelry you want. You can wear whatever makeup you want. Things I just thought this would be cute with my wings and stuff like that. So, I mean, you could be anything with this costume. I could be anything. I could be like a dark princess, whatever I want to be. So yeah. Uh, I'm Nikki. Thank you for wasting your time with me today. Apologize for the quality of this video. I promise it will get better in the future. I'm working on it. I hope you enjoy. Hope you have a great Halloween. I'm working on other ones that hopefully will be up soon. But if not, don't have my head because I'm busy because I am in school full time and I work. So I'm trying. I promise. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. If I don't, I don't hold it against you. I get it.